Good day everyone! I am John Vincent J. Sinamban from Angeles University Foundation and on behalf of my co-authors, I am delighted to share with you today our study entitled Attitude of Pharmacy e-learners on Collaborative Learning Activities in Conducting Research in Time of COVID-19 Pandemic. Conducting research in time of COVID-19 pandemic up to its completion is crucial because of many restrictions alongside it. Students' collaborative learning activities are challenged and compelled to adjust to the online setup. Thus. The researchers sought to examine the attitude of pharmacy e-learners towards favorable outcomes regarding their approach in conducting online research and to determine the association between their attitudes towards collaborative learning activities and their characteristic profiles such as gender, type of devices, and type of internet connection. A quantitative analytical cross-sectional research design was employed. The study was carried out from March to April 2022 in a private university in Angeles City, Philippines after obtaining ethics clearance from the Ethics and Research Committee of the University. The study employed a 22-item scale named Online Attitude Towards Collaborative Approach Scale or EACAS and a total of 71 pharmacy e-learners enrolled in the research and technical writing subject voluntarily participated in the survey. Findings revealed that 43% of the pharmacy e-learners agreed of being energized in a group and the majority also claims to have developed self-confidence, communication, and interpersonal skills. About 35% agreed on becoming more innovative and 42% able to generate more ideas when working collaboratively. Results also showed that the majority of the e-learners develop extrinsic and social factors. At least 52% are delighted to be within a group and 50% enhanced their working relationships with the use of online learning applications. 42% also agreed that their drive and motivation is increased, while most also think that tasks become easier. However, despite these positive outcomes, a large portion of them are still neutral on having their leadership skills develop and learning as being easier during collaboration, both garnering 46% neutrality. The p-values suggest that the attitude of pharmacy e-learners towards collaborative activities in research have no significant association to the student's characteristic profiles. In conclusion, online collaborative learning activities in research and technical writing subject serve a lot of favorable outcomes to pharmacy e-learners enhancing various intrinsic and extrinsic factors. However, most are neutral on the effects of collaboration on ease of learning and development of leadership skills. Thus, it is suggested to employ different techniques and interventions for collaborative learning activities concerning the different factors that will entail more favorable outcomes towards the completion of academic requirements such as research papers. Further studies must have an expanded number of respondents from different courses who are enrolled in the research and technical writing subject to assess differences in results with the use of research tool of the study.